great. So I'm trying to just cut out as much rice as I can. All right, we have uh, Mewtwo versus Joker. Uh, how do you feel about Buff Mewtwo's tail or Justice for Mewtwo's tail? Um, man, that argument has been going around since like, <laughs> Ultimate happened. I don't think it's that big of a listen. I played Mewtwo in Florida. I don't think it's that big of a deal. The issue really just stems from the fact that Mewtwo is ridiculously light. Um, yeah. And, and it's like it's gonna be like either or. But I also, f oh my god, Mewtwo is like at the perfect weight as well, and and size for for Joker to get so many drag down upper confirms. You know, Mewtwo being so floaty, he's gonna be taking so much uh like like hit stun from it. Like, it just gives Joku such a good window to be able to get the loops in. Yeah, I mean, they are both, these are both glass cannons, technically. They can both pump out a lot of damage, and uh, under the right conditions, mm -hmm. they both have a good amount of kill power. So it's just a matter of, like, who gets advantage first and who's able to rack on the damage properly. Yeah. But you gotta be careful. What a way to get back onto the stage. He just teleported right to the middle of it. I didn't like, expect that, did you? <laughs> Cut that F smash kill so early. Goodness. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> My man's is light. Yeah, but like me too. Honestly, I feel like he's still like really an explosive character. Like once he gets the ball rolling, he gets it rolling, and he'll steal the stock away from you. Um, but I just feel like Sargos right now. He has just struggled to get that kind of momentum. Wow, Flaff going <laughs> right off stage trying to get an early edge code. Um, doesn't find it. I mean, Mewtwo's 100% able to just get, like, three hits on you, and you're basically, like, next to death percent. Mm -hmm. But the issue is, like, those three hits could be the only interaction he gets for the whole stock because of the way that he's designed right now. Mm -hmm. well, I, I love how both of them are just running off stage and going through their respective downers. <laughs> they both really want that spike. Um, I really like the fact that Fluff actually didn't contest with the down smash, uh, didn't even like try to get up attack because that move has such deceptively low end lag. Like, oh my goodness. Comes out. That Mewtwo forward, that Mewtwo forward there barely working. That, that forward smash cleaned it up. I mean, yeah, Mewtwo's up smash, Mewtwo's down smash, they're so, so strong, especially on Joku. He tries to go for the jab on the shield, I, I think if he held the jab a little bit longer um, and actually didn't release it, he might have been able to get a shield poke from it. Um, like, Joku's shield looked like a skittle at that point, but gonna be able to... Oh! 25 from a multi-jab. He doesn't have one of the stronger multi-jabs in the game, especially, like, if your uh, opponent doesn't smash DI out properly, they're gonna... Oh, dude, that jump. Yeah. Not sure if he would have survived that, but it probably didn't help his chances too much. Um, I think if he... I'm thinking about that in two action. Honestly, 150% sounds about right for Mewtwo to die to a back throw, mm -hmm. as uh, by Joku. But yeah, the fact that he jumped didn't do him any favors. Really. Some characters actually have their hurt boxes shift by jumping, and they uh, they get regain momentum faster, but I don't think Mewtwo's one of them just because of his tail hitbox. That's some DDD stuff he just talked about. <laughs> yeah, DDD also does the same thing. He just got he expands. So he yeah, he expands. dies earlier too. Yeah, blue buddy. Um, oh, he he gets like a little bit too snazzy with his movement there. He, he I feel oh. like he pushed through the back a little bit too much. Yeah, instead of like going right to the ledge, he went for a wall jump back here, like which would have been fine had Joku been there. But I feel like Joku was in like no position to be getting hit by that whatsoever. I'm not really sure what the back was meant to cover. And so he just like spent an unnecessary amount of time off stage. I feel like yeah. interaction. I mean, Mewtwo back air actually is really good at uh I just kind of out of uh it's kinda of good at uh, scoping out really bad approaches because it's a huge hitbox and it covers a lot of space, honestly. Uh also with like uh Mewtwo's movement, he has a lot of control over like how much space he can cover. Mm -hmm. But just in general, like you kind of gotta be careful fighting Joker because he's not typically gonna give up stage control unless he has Ars Send. Because uh, one of Joker's biggest weaknesses is the fact that he does have great ledge options, but he does have the ability to uh, to kind of force you to guess getting back onto the stage, and that can be a lot of risk yeah. there. Uh, so going on to game two, I feel like. Gonna Sagos does the need to flap as the Joker. Um, mm -hmm. Sagos, he, I think he could have been a little bit more patient with his commitments. I feel like the times when he was like kind of rushing in, he's like a little bit desperate to get something Three, started. Two, um, two, one. And, oh, Kalos. Yeah, interesting choice. I honestly I'm not sure why they would opt to go for the Jinbuji stage. Might make it like a little bit more difficult for the Mewtwo, um, because like he's gonna have to be like the one constantly like pushing space. So remember, like when they're on the uh, they're, when they're on battlefield, 
Um, Saros kept barely dying to smash attacks and just general like aerials. Maybe he's betting the fact that he has a lot more one and kill power. It means he might survive longer on this division on battlefield. Mm -hmm. At least that's my like my only real thought. There's also the fact that like it's an FD type stage, which uh, Joker does do okay on, but not as well as like battlefield and other platform stages where you do up smashes and up tilts and cover uh, landings better. Mm -hmm. I really want to applaud Sargos on the recovery mix up. I actually like the way he's starting to mix it up a little bit instead of immediately teleporting to the ledge. He went for like a double jump air dodge, um, just like making most out of the fact that Mewtwo kind of disappears. Never mind, I don't know what that teleport was. <laughs> oh my god. I think he just surprised me, dude. I mean, it surprised uh, Flap as well, really. But yeah, uh, he ended up running onto the stage. He had a panic option and killed him, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, booby! Get that down smash. Almost doing the trick. Uh, right now, so I like the way that Flap is facing this. Like, he's starting to play back a little bit more, trying to, like, gun camp a little bit. Um, fading back, like, understanding that he won't connect anything from the gun dash. Um, but at that place, I don't believe he'll be able to get dragged down up there into up smash. He yeah. Needs, he needs a little bit more. I, I think that only connects at like 90 plus. It's so the fact that these platforms are higher, so uh, if it doesn't do it perfectly, he's more likely to get out. Mm. Yeah, that, that, that could definitely be a factor. Um, I'm not. I'm actually not totally sure about the way the Joker is up and works, whether it's like set knockback or not. Or, or, um... Yeah, it's set knockback. Oh, um, it into okay. it's a knockback back to Joker, but it is um, but it is techable at certain percents. But the main thing that uh, the main thing that matters is the fact that like you can do it on any stage where in between the tech window and when you get invincibility, you can still hit you with up smash on those stages. But because the platform's a little higher here, you can mm -hmm. probably you, you might not necessarily be able to guarantee it as well. Okay, does it have set hit stun or only? Uh... Because I know there's some moves that actually scale based on, like like they might have the same amount of knockback, but um... I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Well, anyways, right now, so this I think is a good job of. I was about to say he's doing a good job of bringing this back. Um, I feel Flaff like he definitely caught on to the fact that he started swinging a little bit. Uh, um, I don't know about that. When you're playing two counters, sometimes you just throw it out and you're like, yeah, yeah, he'll do. Uh huh. That move is kind of nuts. Did he figure ways to jump in the back here? Mm. That's so depressing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, uh, what happened was I extended my leg and I ended up kicking the hell out of my desk. Um, oh, man. But... That, that sounds not great. All right, but that was the set. Uh, another, like, 